Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, listeners and viewers, wherever you are in the world right now. You are tuned in to Hellblaze Abyss with your host, as always, me, Chris Gordon. Hey, hey, welcome. If you're here for the first time, thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. If you are a returning listener or viewer, thank you so much. Your support means everything to me. And please share the word, Hellblaze Abyss. Just search it for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And on YouTube, please share, subscribe, and enjoy the interviews and shows. I'm on all major platforms, YouTube and all the uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, everything like that. I'm even on Alexa. Say to Alexa, play Hellblaze Abyss, and you will find me. Well, hey, excellent. Anyway, today I have a fantastic guest for you. Uh, He's actually going to be appearing uh, as a key character on an upcoming show on Apple Plus, which is another one of these new um, networks coming out. Well, it's not so new now, but yeah, Apple Plus Network. Uh... And basically, he's going to be starring alongside Jason Sudeikis uh, in the show Ted Lasso. And this gentleman is, uh, say, a fantastic actor. He's brought to you, uh, brought to me, should I say, by Anderson Public Relations. So thank you very much. So without further ado, I introduce you to Stephen Manas. Hi everyone. This is Stephen Manas with Chris Gordon on El Blazer Biz. <laughs> Everyone, I have the pleasure and the company of actor Stephen Manas today. You get so. it. <laughs> hey, Stephen, thank you for joining me on Hellblazer Biz. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm happy to be there. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk obviously about your career and your sure. what, the things that made you become an actor, and uh, and find out, yeah, just a little bit more about yourself and see where we go. <laughs> Sure, I'm listening. What's the first question? <laughs> first question is, why an actor? <laughs> what, what, what you, I mean, you are a multi... I'll say, we're we'll going to this later. You're multi-talented, so why acting? What was... What... Yeah, you're right. I've been doing many things. Um, I've started to be an artist. I've started to be an, an artist story. Uh, when I was very, very young, as um, a musician first, and then I've been into school for a long time, uh, studying marketing, communication. And just when I finished it, I decided to be an actor. Um, why? I had some experience before as an actor in my hometown, uh, hometown when I was young, uh, shooting for a movie here and there as an extra. And why that? I love the energy on set. I love it. Uh, there's so many people working all together for for a final wizard, this final image, and I find it wonderful. And when I had the chance for some short movie, uh, student short movie or stuff like this, to have an important character, to have the main character, I really feel like you are kind of a keystone of a huge building and everything, all the pressure is on, upon you. And when you do it right, you find everything, the makeup artist, the crew, the production, everybody say, oh my God, you did a good job. But we all did a good job. But this kind of being on the spot in the light, that's true, I like it a little. But I really find this kind uh, of pressure very pleasant. And um, that's what I like about being an actor. <laughs> Excellent. And you're right, there, there is a pressure. Um, I, I mean, I, I did acting. I've done acting before. Okay. And I was in a film about four years ago. And I, I had a speaking part. It wasn't a big one, don't worry. It's it a small, small little part. But even that, the pressure was immense. Yeah, and you're yeah. right because everyone's focusing on you to on you to get it right. And you and everyone, you know, it it was a small independent film. So I I, yeah, I, to, I totally understand where you're coming from yeah. with the with the everybody's on set trying to get this piece looking perfect. So it's it's definitely something there about it which makes it special. It <laughs> Some people they have it. Uh, there's many French actors. Back in the 80s, they have been amazing actors from the first day they went on set and then didn't have any school or preparation. Uh, for me, it took a while. Uh, I had to practice for years, training and training as I was very shy and I wanted to do so good. I, want, I had so much pressure on myself. Oh, you have to be perfect. You have to be good. And actually, you have to let it go. Go with the flow. And uh, everybody is here working with you to, to make it feel more easier. But it took a while to understand that and to, to let it go about the pressure and to, to have a better image at the end. Excellent. Fair enough. Yeah, that's great. But not, not yeah, it's it's a good trick I'm telling you. So you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a great story. Um, um, did you have any motivationals or inspirations from the acting world? Uh, 
mostly I'm more into spiritual stuff. So motivation come come a lot with energy and environment and listening to the world. Okay, I'm not a magician or anything, but but it comes with the flow. When I was younger, I was thinking a lot, trying to copy, taking everything I could from those great actors that I loved mm -hmm. as the biggest for me, okay, classical, like De Niro, DiCaprio, Nicholson, and uh, Phoenix, Joachim. Everybody's different, actually. Everybody can bring something amazing about themselves. So you can have a little inspiration here and there, but if you want to take too much and say, oh my God, those people are so amazing. If I can take only 10%, I will be amazing myself. Actually, no. No, you'll Everybody's be different. Yeah. yeah, you'll be one hundred percent amazing for you. <laughs> you have to be yourself, hundred percent. You can have some glimpses here and there. So yeah, I told you who my main actors were. I love Tom Cruise. Also, I fell in love when I was young with uh, Mission Impossible. So oh, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs> Action, some tears, some. Oh, I love this guy. So uh, yeah, so it comes with yourself, I guess. Fair enough, fair enough. They see you've made me feel really old because you said you grew up with Tom Cruise in Mission <laughs> Impossible. I grew up with Tom Cruise in Cocktail and Top Gun. <laughs> oh, that was before. Yeah. I discovered Cocktail not a, a while ago, not very long ago. It was it's amazing. I love that movie. Brilliant, it's, brilliant movie, isn't yeah, it? It, yeah, is it really brilliant. is. It's just, it's just brilliant. So that's, really, that's why I really can't wait for Top Gun too, because it was one of my favourites. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's okay. coming up. And as I said, you are multi-talented. You trained as an artist. You stunt. You've done stunt work as well, and you also have played several instruments, which is amazing yeah. to as well. Um, I mean, my dad played the drums. He was a semi-professional oh, cool. drummer. He was a minister of religion, but he played drums. And my son is now playing drums. In fact, I can't show you. I'll have to show you after because I've got my background on. But in, <laughs> in the I background, I'm, I'm, it's my dad's drum kit, which my dad, when he passed away, he left my drum, okay. his drum kit to my son. And it's about 70 years old, a lovely premiere kit, which is just absolutely mint. Oh, my God. Um, so my son plays that for his drums as well now. Okay. And which then one both, is his favorite um, uh, band? <clears throat> Tell me it's an English band. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. He, he listens oh to God. all this modern stuff. <laughs> but ah. I, I, I can't. <laughs> There's a rapper uh, he talks about at the moment and I, who passed away last year. Mm. And I, I just don't like rap like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm too okay. old. I do like rap. I, lo I love Eminem and I enjoy Eminem. Yeah. yeah very, very uh, same, same thing. I said I don't like rap, but some rapper come outside of it. And uh, Eminem yeah. definitely come out. Yeah, there's some who just yeah, yeah who come out of that genre, um, which are great. But yeah, I mean, I'm, my son and I play the trumpet as well, so I, I'm, I know oh, it's cool. <laughs> very yeah. But so I was really interested to see your musical background as well. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I grew up in a very small town, like I said, uh, kind of a rich town in France. So mm -hmm. sports and music were available for all the children in that in this town for free mm -hmm. and uh, we enjoyed it a lot and uh, i started with clarinet very young uh near mass uh, only classical learning like uh, in my orchestra we were playing like 80, 80 instruments all together and mm -hmm. i only had a, a classical background so i played clarinet then when i moved to my uh, I went to my sorry. I went to my 16s. I moved to the saxophone, uh, playing jazz with a crew for three years, and then near 1819, I discovered piano. Mm -hmm. I discovered the movie Amadeus Mozart, and I said, "Oh my! Why didn't I play piano since I'm two months? I don't know. Piano is amazing. <laughs> for me, it's the best instrument. So I learned piano uh, at my 18s. I started mm -hmm. composing, and then after I traveled for four years in uh, in India, in Tokyo, in Philippines, anywhere. And uh, they are learned guitar. It was easy way to carry a new instrument. Mm -hmm. So I play a little of everything. Um, I used to be very, very good on clarinet and saxophone, but I wanted to learn more instruments. And now I'm more mm -hmm. than I'm more com a composer than a performer. Okay. Okay. So I compose a lot. Fantastic. And what kind of is it? Jazz? Did you say? Is it more jazz or? Ah uh, no, I'm composing uh, epic music uh, for movies. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I discover the computer composing. You plug the piano and you say, "Okay, I want an orchestra." Mm -hmm. And I got a friend who's, who's a professional composer. I think when he made me discover it, we stayed like two weeks together, and I was playing nonstop. Like, <laughs> you have this, this huge headphones. You play your chords, and you can hear an entire orchestra of eighty people. Wow, that's amazing. That's something that 
it's brand new. I, was, I couldn't think it was possible. I, I thought it was, you have to write each note for each part. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's impossible. It's a tremendous amount of work. And now you just play, you record, new lines, new lines, new lines. So I started to create it. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, I, I know, good. yeah, I, I played in a cadet band, which is like the young military for the kids to about 11, mm. 11 to 16. So I, I play, I sort of teach trumpet there as well in one of the bands. And I, I struggle because I have to write some parts. For, I mean, I can read music and I can write the notes, but yeah, when uh, there's no way I could do what you do and have to write the parts, oh. every individual instrument. That is, that is a seriously complicated talent. <laughs> Just have to practice. Just yeah. have to practice. I guess yeah. so. Yeah, you have to. I um, won my son's orchestra from school that he did. There was a, a musician there as well. And he, you know, you get that sound musician. He, he had the whole orchestra all playing at once and he would sit there play himself and then he'd just like stop and he'd point to one 20 oh sorry i'm pointing to you sorry I'm pointing, about 20 people and he'd point to one person and he'd say you need to pick speed it up a little bit and it, you know just ah oh, just to be able to play yeah. that and, and have to be able to learn and know every instrument that like you know exactly which yeah, one yeah, that's me. <laughs> have you seen the movie uh we Plash? no i haven't i haven't seen that one yet <laughs> as a drummer that's that's a film. You have to watch it. <laughs> you have to watch it. We Plush is amazing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's an entire orchestra and you can hear, oh my God, one person is a tiny half, is not right on the, sur le dos. I don't know how to say it in English. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. a little off code, a little high or a little low. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing to be part of that. I was very lucky. I was uh, grown in this, in this town. Brilliant. That's fun. That is fantastic. What's been the most challenging aspect so far? Um, of your career to build to get into where you are now What's been uh, the, hardest aspect? the most challenging aspect yeah, was the hardest like I told you to accept uh, who you are and try not to copy it took me a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, since you, when you're young when you're 16 18 and I'm not at all uh, I'm not part of the movie um, the cinema world okay I come from this town military uh, family and absolutely no connection in the cinema, not living in Paris. So you come here, nobody is really helping you and say, okay, I just have to watch and, and copy a little and understand how, how it's working. Actually, it's not. And it takes time to understand that you have your own stuff to, to propose. And uh, this is the best you can do, proposing about your, your, own, um, your own life and, and your own experience. And uh, I didn't have the chance, or maybe it is a chance, I haven't done any acting school. As I told you, I've been to uh, yeah. uh, five years study in uh, marketing communication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> study was good, but working was was uh, boring. So <laughs> after I left for for India, I should have stayed three months. I stayed two years. It was very tough, but going through tough thing uh, helped you to build a little and traveling also. So I um, I took wonderful emotion here and there, wonder, wonderful experience mm -hmm. about living living in India, living alone. And uh, same in Tokyo, same in Philippines. And, and after you bring back all this together and you, you propose stuff and you feel much more confident, uh, I'm still shy. But uh, living alone and sometimes I, I lived in the street for, for not for long, but for a couple mm -hmm. of days in India, make you a little tougher. So all this is kind of interesting when you, when you bring it in front of a camera. And um, I think it's, it's about it. The most challenging thing, uh, thing was to... To accept yourself and say, okay, I have many, many stuff to work on about mm -hmm. experience, acting school, and you find a way to work on it and find patience. Yeah, I'm Leo, Leo, so patience is not a thing that I have. <laughs> and when you work in cinema, especially as an actor, it's uh, in general, okay, everybody's different, but you need to learn how to, to wait, to wait, to wait, and wait for your time. So I work on that. That's fantastic. That's really, that is really good. It's, it's good. I mean, you said you're spiritual as well, and that's something yeah. which is very good. Um, and I find that's a really great way to get on in your own life as well. I mean, I'm trying to learn mindfulness, they call it at the moment, where it's, it's basically the same sort of thing. It's, um, I mean, you know, it's, I think it's, to, from what I understand, it's like taking a lot of Buddhism, that kind of the meditation itself, is, you know, becoming one in, you know, I've, I've raised a christian which is i still am yeah. but i'm i take the the, the onset rather than being one of the you know a fundamental one but i'm not i've not practiced it for a long time i, I take i take the teachings and the spiritual yeah. teachings to become better by you know obviously 
believing in yourself and and mm-hmm. just focus and keeping your mind focused and helping and helping others and things like that and that's how i try um in that sort that's of very good it's the yeah the more the spiritual side of the, uh, <laughs> the, of, the of the of the of the religion itself which I, I kind of like because i think it is a good way to live congrats that's cool. oh, sorry, thanks. <laughs> no, sorry. But yeah, no, just like I mentioned that's you know I know so I know I kind of I'm sort of building myself up that way as well, so or trying to. Okay. So, <laughs> so with film filming as well, I mean you've you've got several you filmed several shorts as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's a funny story. Uh it all started actually with uh with a short movie, uh a student short movie. I've done in France, uh I, I had to shoot for three years with almost no incomes. Uh, mm-hmm. So I had a work next to it. And for three years, you're shooting, you're shooting for free and again and again and again. And um, it's the time that it takes. Everybody told, told me when I started, oh, in French, you know, it take at least three years. And then when I was young, I said, what, three years, you're killing me, I'm 18? Okay, it took me actually 10 years. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and I, sh- I had this uh, short movie, a student short movie called Out of Frame. Mm-hmm. It was very good. I've been cast the day before because the main actor didn't want to do it anymore. And I was leaving uh, nine days after to Tokyo for, for six months. So I said, okay, we only have nine days to shoot it. Yeah. And actually it was wonderful. So much work we put into that all day shooting, 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 working on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, thanks to this wonderful uh, director called Artem uh, Gutwoski, uh, Russian, who was studying uh, in Paris, um, a cinema school, so mm-hmm. very talented. I'm sure we're, we're going to hear from him. And uh, we won, I think, near to 20 awards, all of them wow. in, uh, in the American festival. And I got like four or five awards of the best actor of the festival. So, Fantastic. wow, so blessed. Uh, somebody... Uh, appreciate what I've done. So I, I was very, very happy. Mm-hmm. And so it was just um, a student movie. But thanks to this, those festivals were related to the Cannes Festival. So I've been invited okay. to the Cannes Festival for the wow. first time. I went there for the first time with my hands in my pocket, nothing to propose, just looking around, mm-hmm. not going out a lot. But I'm not a kind of a party guy. So I was yeah. working very early, going to the cinema market, trying to meet people, saying hi, present myself. Mm-hmm. And I met an agent, an international agent, who said, oh, I think uh, you can work a little better on the, maybe on the Hollywood market, American market, mm-hmm. than the French one. I said, okay, let's give it a shot. And I went with him. And the next thing I know, it was two weeks after I got the Ted Lasso casting. And uh, it was <laughs> wonderful. True, mm-hmm. true. I would have never <laughs> found it be, be, without this student or it's like a huge equation and if you move one little thing in it uh, yeah. everything falls down so for now it's perfect and uh, that's how it was exactly see it's fate it's, that's where the spirituality comes in because you believe in it's fate it moves on to things happen for yeah. a reason things happen for a reason so like you say if you weren't in that film you would never be uh in, in ted lasso which is a, yeah that's very funny. yeah which yeah. is brilliant which is a fantastic because i've not seen it yet because it's not out <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's a new series um so can you tell me what the show is going to be about i appreciate because it's not out we can't talk too much about it but what's, yeah, the, we what's, the, what's uh, the main summary of the show I'll, I'll try to give something uh first of all it's, it's a very good comedy with tremendous actors uh there's a huge comedy talent uh um as jason was on the set uh, in shooting and outside shooting with such positive energies it just can be just it just can work um mm-hmm. as a comedian it was totally fantastic i didn't know much about about this uh this actor but was so blessed i was so so lucky i was there and this comedy will be about um really the sports period it's in it so it's talking about personal life uh football and it all it's all together and it when like uh positiveness mm-hmm. always keep your dreams keep following it and uh, i think it's going to be very good and kind of inspiring for lots of people even though it's a comedy so <laughs> i can i cannot wait to see it excellent so yeah i mean ted lasso is the, the character of ted lasso from what i've read on imdb so i can say this bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> <I'm laughing>. <laughs> <laughs> he's an american football coach who comes to london 
to become a soccer t- a soccer coach. Sorry, I'm not going to say soccer. It's exactly. not soccer. It's football. We're going French. Football, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, exactly. football. Yeah, you're French. Yeah, because you you know it's football. It's not. It's it not football. soccer. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes to the UK to become a football coach in London yeah. for for a team that's struggling, and obviously that's where, it, like you say, then it builds up about that and the characters and 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 self belief and things like that. So it's, yes. it sounds yes. like it's going. It sounds very good and. And Jason is, I've, I've seen Jason before in, in, in several things, and he is very good. And he's, he seems he's amazing. Really funny. Um, obviously, he's amazing. Saturday Night Live, he's been on as well, where he does some of the roles on there. Um, I've seen this movie before, uh, going on the show, when I knew I was going there, I said, okay, make some, some research, see Jason, okay, I need to learn a little, a little more about this, uh, this person. So I've seen this movie, and I really wonder how this kind of person will act on set. In. Mm-hmm. Perfection. Yeah. From the first moment of the day to the end, respectful, smiling, high contact, very hard worker. Everybody was a hard worker on this end. Like mm-hmm. from the tech, um, to the production, to the to the actress, always focused, always working, uh, with a nice environment, and uh, I think it just can go well. So I was. It was just. Perfect time. My best, the best shot I've ever done. So, <laughs> excellent, excellent. It's, I, I really want to look. I look forward to this. I've got Apple Plus, which is where it's going to be shown. So, thankfully, that's good. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made sure I had it because I knew. I, I've got to admit, because I, I got it for Greyhound, the the Tom Hanks film, which came out recently. Oh. Okay. I wanted to watch that one, which is perfect film. Okay. If you if you watch that, brilliant, very well done. It's a world. Okay, I will. I will. Um, so yeah, but yeah. I got, and obviously now um, it's it's a bonus because I'm going to get to see Ted Lasso when it comes out. <laughs> you have to. You have to. <laughs> oh, I will. Don't worry. <laughs> well, once it's out, obviously, then we'll have to come back and talk again when we can actually talk more about your character, which will be good. <laughs> okay, in a month, promise I'll be there. You ask me. <laughs> Excellent. What was the most? I mean, you, you obviously, you said it, it was the most valuable and the best experience you've had so far. So, what was the most exactly. valuable thing that you've taken away from filming Ted Lasso? Oh, I think um, yeah, it's, it is a tricky one. <laughs> Actually, uh, I've been into many big production in France, and this one was the biggest. As a, I was really a part of the team on a long period. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, what I've learned is just to stay connected with everyone before and after the set. And this is how you, I think you can gain time um, and you can gain confidence and you can have a link with the other characters, um, human, I, I mean, the other actors yeah. and gain time on set and have a little more fun and can try a little more stuff. And uh, this is how you can get the best results of a scene to not holding yourself from trying because uh, because you're a little shy, you know. And uh, as I was one of the only one, only foreigners, mm-hmm. they accept me like so. It was so welcome uh, when I came here. I came a little after the others uh, on the set, and uh, everyone was talking to me, trying to make me feel uh, a little more relaxed. And mm-hmm. they, they were very nice. And when this kind of um, uh, not accommodation, uh, friendship were, were built uh, between us. We were winning so much time, like on set, being prepared, and uh, we know what that we were all hard workers with the um, same main objective. And uh, I think it was very good. What what I will take back is about positiveness from point A to point Z, and inside and outside uh, the set. Fantastic. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, David. It's, it's a little complicated to explain. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it came out well, so don't worry. Uh, and I think there's 11 episodes that have been filmed so far. So yeah. I, I believe, so, well, they're the only ones that are on IMDb. So they're the only ones I'm allowed to tell have been filmed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whether there's more or not, I can't get out of you. Maybe um, there is five seasons I cannot tell. I know, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and you said this has been released next month. Is yeah, fourteenth of August. Fantastic, and that's going to be Apple Plus worldwide. Worldwide, uh, USA to UK, to French, Italy, Spain, worldwide, uh, many languages. So on the fourteenth, yeah, it's going to be released. Fantastic, um, yeah. and, and I love that about things like Apple Plus and uh, Netflix and everything because they really promote where they can yeah. and, and they change. They can they 
put them into ver all the languages around the world as well so everybody yes. can enjoy it rather than i mean not, you know obviously you do get your hollywood blockbusters which are great but obviously these these are perfect platforms to totally things. totally on my friend we're asking like oh it's going to be released on 14 but what about us in france that we have to wait do we need to get a vpn to be in america or whatever and i've checked and uh, actually uh, apple tv made a very good job they translated to many languages uh, mm -hmm. and with subtitles uh, I said to my friend, try to, to watch it in the uh, original voices. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, they made it. They made an impressive walk, and uh, I'm sure they walked very good. I've seen the trailer; it's hilarious. I love it. Uh, everything's good. Uh, the colors, the sound, and the characters, the the mount, the cuts. I don't know. Say the montage, the montage, yep. and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be great. I just I cannot wait to see it. Excellent. I think it's going to be great as well. I've got a feeling it'll, it'll be a worldwide hit, so we'll have more seasons. <laughs> we got, we'll keep fingers crossed, everything crossed that it will. <laughs> it'll be perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's, no, it's great. As I say, when watching something in the, in, like you said, with your friends in the original language, it can be good. I watch Das Boot and I, I, I speak German, so for me, it's okay. Um, okay. I, I love watching the originals because then it, it helps yeah. me practice. Uh, and I do. I did speak French a long time ago, Stephen. I d um, oh, you did. Uh, yeah, um, but it's very. We'll continue in French, if you know. <laughs> Sorry, by me. I, I, I can understand, <laughs> but je ne parle pas le ne parle pas le français, mais ah, c'est pas mal. It's not bad. It's good. That's that's about. Unfortunately, that's all I can speak anymore. I'm helping okay, my son with his good. French lessons. I know. <laughs> I can understand. I can read it. Uh, my son does French at school, so I'm actually doing his French lessons with him, and I, I'm helping him because I can understand everything. But because I've not spoken for such a long time, yeah, it's like a very long time. You need to practice. Oh, you do, you do. Yeah, you read reading, no problem. I can read French and everything. So if you know, obviously, and if I listen to it, I can understand too. But I sadly speaking, that's very good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Gone. <laughs> Excellent. Is there so if we? So with Ted Lasso, is there any other things that you have on the horizon as well that you want that you, you may that might be coming out at all? Or I, I know that sounds yeah, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I have to. We have to wait a little. Uh, the main thing right now is uh, is only Ted Lasso. Uh, mm -hmm. We hope for the best for it, and and um, mm, how can I say that? It's always going to be a priority for me for the Ted Lasso show in Apple TV and. Uh, uh, I'm so happy I had this chance and this opportunity. So really, everything that I could I could do for the show, I still stick with it. And uh, and just for now on, there's Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso, and maybe Ted Lasso. That's it. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. As I, say, I think it's going to be a real hit because um, it looks, it does look it from what I've seen of of of, of you know the uh, and read about it. It's, it's something that touches everybody's okay. hearts. And, and Thank you for for everyone for all those who have worked on it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Is there anything you would like to say before I stop recording, Stephen, to the people who are watching or listening? Well, thank you very much for everyone who were watching it or listening it till the end. And uh, I hope to see you again. And uh, thank you, Chris. I don't have much more to say. It was perfect.